very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Our plan for the radical socioeconomic transformation of our country entails a broad array of commitments to be undertaken in every sector of our national endeavor in order to take Kenya further along the path towards our collective aspirations and unprecedented levels of shared prosperity. The plan, therefore, commits us to undertake ambitious interventions aimed at ensuring that Kenya performs to the best of its promise by harnessing the full potential of each sector and engaging also in the gifts, skills, and talents of our people to their greatest number possible. We recognize the talent in Kenya's sporting and creative industry to be an entire economy to be harnessed. For this reason, the plan has set out commitments we intend to accomplish towards fully developing the sporting and the creative economy. This sector is a giant wellspring of opportunities to employ millions of young people, increase incomes, enhance our national brand, and place Kenya on its rightful position as a global athletic and sporting superpower. The interventions including a comprehensive sports infrastructure development plan, enhanced monetization and commercialization of sporting talent, and the reinstatement of Kenya's football into good standing with the global governing body. An important intervention that will go a long way to accelerate the achievements of our agenda in this sector involves robust efforts to attract premier international sports and athletic events to Kenya to stimulate local sports, promote tourism, create employment, and enhance our national sporting and athletic brand. Kenya has made various bids to host global events, and as recently as last week, we hosted the Keep Kano Classic, an international track and field meet affiliated with World Athletics Continental Tour Gold Series, named after, obviously, our legendary Kenyan Olympian, Kipchoge Kano. In this connection, I am happy to announce today that we have joined our brothers and sisters in Uganda and Tanzania in mounting a joint bid to host, sorry, in this connection, I am happy to announce today that we have joined our brothers and sisters in Uganda and Tanzania in mounting a joint bid to the Confederation of African Football for the opportunity to host the 2027 edition of Africa Cup of Nation, commonly known as AFCON. None of us has had the opportunity of hosting this important continental tournament before. Our national teams, Arambe Stars, has joined, has, has qualified five times for AFCON, 1972, 1988, 1990, 1992, and 2019. Uganda, on the other hand, has qualified seven times in 1962, 1968, 1974, 1976, 1978, 2017, and 2019. And Tanzania, on their path, have qualified twice in 1980 and in 2019. We hope that our joint bid will motivate all our sides not only to qualify for the 2027 tournament, but also excel beyond previous achievements by our individual countries. We also intend to launch a compelling bid that will succeed in winning us this very critical opportunity to make Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania the epicenters of regional and continental footballing resurgence. 
the work of prosecuting our joint bid now begins in earnest and Kenya intends to make its full contribution to it. My CS Honorable Ababu Namwamba, the Cabinet Secretary for Youth Affairs, Sports and Arts, is duly assigned and will now mobilize his team, liaising with his counterparts in Uganda and Tanzania to formulate a winning bid so that the people of our three countries can look forward to participating in a successful 2027 tournament bid. Mr. Ababu Namomba, you and your team now has marching orders. We are, I am very confident that uh, finally East Africa will for the first time host the Africa Cup of Nations tournament in 2027. We know that we have competitors across uh, the African continent, but I am very confident that this bid that brings together the solidarity of the East African um, countries, Tanzania, Uganda, and Kenya, together to jointly co-host this uh, uh, bid, will be a success. I have already consulted with my counterparts in Uganda and Tanzania on all of us working together jointly on this bid, and we have all agreed that this is going to be an opportunity for East Africa, and the games will be played, the different teams will be play, played in our different countries. We will work on the mechanics, we will work on the timetable, and we will work on ensuring that we are all ready for this tournament when it finally happens. I want to ask all of us, as part of our commitment to this very important sector, the sector of sports and creative art, that we rally our forces. I want to ask the people, the stakeholders in this sector, the private sector, um, uh, the sportsmen and women, the teams in this sector, to begin to focus their energies in ensuring that this sector, we take it back to where we all have wanted it to be. I did undertake to the country that we were going to push for this bid. When I came into office, I hope that this attempt by all of us in East Africa will give us the opportunity to host uh, uh, this tournament. Let me also say that for the record that we will be working with all a multi-sectoral approach on ensuring that we bring back the flair and also the shine of our football and our athletics together with the new field of creative arts. I'm looking forward to interrogating the master plan that we have asked the Ministry of Sports and Creative Arts and, young, and Youth to come up with on developing the infrastructure around um, uh, sports, making sure that we also interrogate the training program and also ensure that there is adequate attention to making sure that we commercialize this sector so that it becomes not only an employer, but also an income generator for the young people participating in this uh, field. So to all of you, uh, good people, you're off to a good start, and I am very confident a very good ending. OK. Mr. President. <laughs> 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 <laughs>